HMX is, uh, to me, it's a series of once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. Every day is something different. You never know where you're going next month, next year. You're always traveling and you're always meeting great people. My absolute favorite thing about working at HMX is the caliber of people that we bring uh, and working with those men and women. Just working with great people makes you better. Pilots getting to come here, I think really get to experience marine aviation the way that you thought it was going to be when you're in flight school. You show up as a captain or, or, or a major and once you become qualified in the helicopters you have the potential to take those helicopters on the road by yourself as the OIC for a trip to you know anywhere here in the United States and, and that's really really neat. To take care of a presidential asset, this helicopter, and lead a, a group of you know, 20, 25 Marines on the road is, is really, really a lot of fun. And it's really rewarding because you get an opportunity to kind of have that small unit leadership, make decisions that you may not have the ability to make or be put in the position to make uh, as a, young, uh, a younger officer in the Fleet Marine Force. Not only do we have a professional organization on the aviation side, but our maintainers as well. Uh, I work in the maintenance department and I've seen the level and abilities of the maintainers here are some of the best in the fleet. So I, I really think all around the experience that you can get here is very unique to only this command. The first time I landed on the South Lawn, uh, it was a trip from Andrews Air Force Base to the South Lawn. I remember thinking that I was going to be perfectly cool. Everything was going to be nice and calm, and I was going to be, you know, smooth as silk. Until the moment when the president stepped off of Air Force One out onto the little stairs, he steps out there, and I just remember specifically my my heart rate started really pounding in my chest. I was, you know, all of a sudden I became nervous, and you know, every everything else about that first one almost seems like a dream. The mission is much different than the fleet's mission. Here, we're not really in a hostile environment, but it's a no-fail mission. So the level of importance is still there. We don't ever want to leave the president stranded somewhere. We need to make sure that the people who go with him and all his contingency are able to get where they need to go every time. Your daily mission could change, even, even within that day. You could find out in the morning that you think you're going to go to Minneapolis and then a couple hours later find out that you're going to go to Kansas City instead. It just, it changes very, very quickly. You're going to work hard, but you're also going to travel and, and, and experience once in a lifetime opportunities that you never thought that you would ever experience. You come to HMX and you see the history and you see the people that you're going to be working with and you're going to push yourself to work even harder because you want to live up to the standard that HMX has established. You're going to work hard. I've worked, I've never studied harder in my life through college, through flight school. HMX is, is a wonderful unit. Um, God, I, I can't stress enough once in a lifetime opportunities.